In this episode, we are talking about how God involved in our case, according to his word, in Deuteronomy 31 verses 6, that say, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Babe, do you still care for more drinks? No, I am okay. I am very tired now. I feel like sleeping. Can we be going? You want us to be going? Yes, Desmond, please let's be going. Ah, guys we need to be going. Kate is very tired. Is all right, Desmond. Babe, we'll need to be going. Is all right. Thank you, I have really eaten a lot today. I like that. Anything for my girl. It is time to bring him to nothing. Since he refused to pay homage to us, he will go back to where he started from. It was his father who came to ask us for help on his behalf. And now his father is gone, he was supposed to continue the sacrifices. But since he refused to give us his sacrifice, we are going to take everything back from him. Is all right? Let him go back to where he was. <laughs> I like this, sort of you'll get now. Let him go back to the hardship of life. Desmond, now it is the time for you to cry. <laughs> Come in. Please short the door. Good morning sir, you sent for me. Yes I sent for you. I want you to submit all your working items, the company gave to you. Including the car. The company, no longer need your services. Please sir don't do this to me. What have I done? Desmond, you have not done anything. It was the company decision, to drop some workers. And your name happens to be among the list, that was sent, from the head office. Please sir, you can do something. I have served this company, for years, now without any problem. But why will the company, treat me this way? Mr. Desmond, I don't know what to do. I am not the one making decisions, the decision is coming from the head office. They only give me instructions, and I execute it. Please submit, all your working items, you will receive, some money, and your salary for the days, you have worked in this month. So have a nice day. Sir please, you can't do this. Please do something. Mr. Desmond, I have just explained myself to you. What do you want me to do? Oh no, this is not fair. What am I going to do? Stop crying Desmond, I am very sorry. What I will suggest you do? Go and write a letter, and send it, to the head office. Who knows, if they will have a change of heart, and call off the sat letter. This is the only solution, I have for you. Is all right sir? So have a nice day. Brother Desmond went home immediately, and wrote the letter pleading to the herd office, to change their decision towards him. But the head office did not change their decisions. Please guys, go inside, and bring out all his belongings. He is living my house today. We will do that right away. Darky, are you ready for this? Come on, let's go and throw him out. Who is that knocking at the door? in this time of the day, in this manner. Landlord you are the one knocking, good evening. Save the greetings to yourself. I have told you, to live this apartment, since you could not pay. But you refused. So I am here to throw you out of my house, and take my keys from you. Landlord, please don't do this to me, I will pay your rent. Give me a little time. Please exercise patience. I should exercise patience? Yes sir, please I will pay you, I promise. And how are you, going to pay me? And how long, will I continue to exercise patience? Please landlord, as soon as I get a job. Is okay, when you get the job, you can come back, and get the apartment, that is, if he is still available. Please sir, enough for your please, keep it to yourself, 
You guys should go in and throw his things out. Yes, sir. Blakey, let's go. Good. Please, sir, stop them. No, you need to live. You did not build my house for me. Brother Desmond was thrown out of his house by the landlord that evening. Babe, I think someone is at your door. What did you say? Someone is at your door. Okay, let me go and see. Who is that? Desmond, what are you doing here, at this time of the day? Max, good evening. Please I need your help. You need my help? Yes, please. Okay, how can I help you? Please can I stay with you for a while? I have just lost my apartment. My landlord just threw off all my belongings out. As I am talking to you now, I don't have a place to lay my head. Why will your landlord do that to you? Max, I was owing him. I could not pay my rent, for 8 months now. I see. I am sorry, I could have helped you, but there's no space in my house, because Helena is inside. Max, please don't turn me down, Helena knows me very well. She knows I am your good friend. Remember our old days, when we'll use to do things together. Please I am not a stranger to Helena. Yes I know Desmond, but I am sorry, I cannot help you, have a nice day. Where do I go from here? I don't even have any money with me. Max was my last hope, just imagine how he shorted the door on me. What is happening to me? I am just losing everything, even Sonia, was the first person that left me. It is really said when you have money, you will have so many friends. But when your money is gone, all of them will abandon you. What a life. Where do I go from here now? Brother Desmond was stranded that night. It is very cold out here. Why is this happening to me? Oh God have mercy on me, if there is any way I have sinned against you. Please send me a helper, you said we should call on you in the day of trouble. Please forgive me, I know I have not been serving you. Please come to my rescue. Don't let me die in this cold. This jacket I wear, cannot even keep me warm enough. I am really feeling cold now. Oh Lord, please save me, do not let me die out here, I beg of you. Hello sir, what is wrong, why are you crying? What are you doing out here, at this time of the day? I don't have a place. How do you mean sir? My landlord threw me out of my apartment, because I am owing him. I could not pay my rent. So, I am homeless, I don't have a place to go. But, it is very cold out here. And what you are putting on, is not warm enough. This is all, I could afford. Oh sorry. Would you like to come to my house? I am Sister Mercy. Thank you very much Ma, I am Desmond. Oh Desmond. Yes. It is nice meeting you, Brother Desmond. Thank you, it is nice meeting you too. I think, it is the Lord, that led me through this direction. I went for our church all night. Come let's go to my house. Oh thank you very much, I am grateful. You are welcome. You are welcome to my house. This is where I leave. Sister, I am so grateful, for you bringing me to your house. You are welcome. My name is Grace, it seems you forgot. Oh, Sister Grace, thank you. Is alright, come and sit down, let me get you a cup of hot tea, to keep you warm. Oh thank you. Oh God thank you, for you heard me, when I was crying, and you sent a helper to me. I will forever be grateful to you Lord. Thank you for sending this woman, to my way. I am grateful Lord. Thank you, thank you, for hearing my cry. After Brother Desmond drank the cup of tea, he felt warm again. Brother Desmond, what happened to you, that you sat outside in that position, that I met you, crying? It was something I could never imagine, that would happen to me. I was working with an insurance company, for years. On one faithful day, I was sacked, for no reasons. What have I done to warrant such a sacked? There was no explanation. Then, I was giving some money, that is how I left the company. Before the money got finished, I tried to get another job, but nothing was working. 
I always get rejection from every company I go to. No company want to give me job again. I try to invest the money in a little business, he did not work. I even lost part of the money. This is how the money got finished. I was now going to serve people, those building, just to get a little money to eat. I could not pay my rent again. This very day, the landlord came with two tugs to throw my belongings out of his house and even seize some of my belongings, my TV, my fan, things that is vital in my house, for his money. Oh sorry, that is very sad. I went to my good friend to seek for his help, but he turned me down and said I could not stay with him. So I was frustrated because Max was my last hope. But he turned me down. I was just crying, telling God to forgive me and send me help. I was surprised to see that he heard me and sent you to me. Indeed it is a good God. Yes brother Desmond, our Lord is a good God. He said, in Psalm 50 verses 15, Call upon me, in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Yes sister Grace, I cannot thank him enough. Don't worry brother Desmond, whatsoever that was the cause, of you being sacked for no reasons, will be destroyed by the power of God. Because God said in Matthew 11 verses 28, Come unto me, all ye that are labor, and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Don't worry, God will intervene in your situation. Just give your life to him, he will turn it around for good, I will take you to my pastor, so that he prayed with you, for a breakthrough in your life. Oh thank you, I am so happy, that I met you. Is all right, come let me take you to the visitor room. Or will you like to shower first? No, I am okay, I can do that tomorrow. Is all right, let's go. Thank you. So, here is the room, you will be sleeping. If there is anything, you need please let me know. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening to me. All my hope for today, was lost. Just look at, how God sent you to help me. Thank you, thank you, I cannot thank you enough. I never knew, there is still good people like you, out there. Is okay brother Desmond, stop crying. God also wants you, to help others, in future, this is why he brought me your way. Don't worry, he is just starting with you. Please can I ask you a question? Sure go ahead. You live here alone? Because I did not see any other person, since I came in. Yes, I live here alone. Feel free. Thank you Sister Grace. I am so grateful. So have a wonderful night. Thank you. Good night. Pastor, this is Brother Desmond, the one I spoke to you about. I brought him to the church today. You have done well Sister Grace. I saw him today at the service. May the good Lord reward you. Amen. Thank you sir. Brother Desmond, you are welcome. Thank you for fellowshipping with us today. Sister Grace, told me everything that you went through. But I have a good news for you. All will be in your past, from this moment. Do you know why, you went through all that? No sir. The enemies, was the cause of your problems. They vowed to give you sorrow. You don't need to worry, our Lord, will give you victory over them. Where is your father? Sir my father, died long time ago. I see. This is the cause of your problem. After your father's death, you were supposed to be paying homage to the deities in your village. But you refused. Because your father was giving them sacrifices on your behalf. He worshipped this deities in other for things to be well for his family. But now, he is dead. The deities needs those sacrifice. You were supposed to continue. But you refused. The deities has waited for you to continue the sacrifice but you refused. This is why they bring calamity before you. They vow, to see you cry, it is their mission, to keep you in sorrow. But don't worry, you have come to Jesus, everything will be over, you are not the one, to pay for your father's sins. You are going to fast, you will pray for three days, you are not going to eat anything. You will only drink water. Have you been fasting before? No pastor is okay, I will join you in the prayer, in order to direct you, because I want that covenant, your father entered with the devil to be broken. Because, 
You are now light. Light and darkness has nothing in common. We are to separate you from them. Thank you, sir. Please, sir, can I start it tomorrow? No, we will start it next week Thursday. Okay, pastor. Thank you very much, sir. I am grateful. You are welcome. So, let's pray. Father in the name of Jesus. Lord I commit brother Desmond into your hands, I pray for your protection upon his life. Give him victory over, all the enemies, that is after his life. Guide him, protect him, every day of his life, and I am thanking you for the life of your daughter sister Grace, whom you have used, to bring this soul, closer to you. Lord I ask, may you continue to strengthen her, protect her, and grant her, her heart desire. Protect every one of us, and help us to continue serving you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor. We are blessed. All thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor, we will be going now. All right. Have a nice day, Sister Grace. Thank you, sir. Bye. Brother Desmond, have a nice day. Have a nice day, sir. Wow, what a nice man of God. He said he is going to join me in the prayer. Just to strengthen me. In fact, I am already blessed. Yes, Pastor Johnson is a very nice man of God. When he come to prayer, he loves helping a lot, just to strengthen his member to pray. He is a good man. Thank you for bringing me here. Everything he was saying concerning my late father was true. When he was serving those deities, he will be telling me I will be the one to continue the sacrifice. I always rejected it. I never knew those things will come to be troubling my life today. But thank God, I am in the red part. I know my God will destroy them for me. Yes, our God will fight them for you. Because, he told us in Exodus 14 verses 14, he said he will fight for us and will shall hold our peace. Don't worry, you will testify of his goodness. Sister Grace, I am already testifying of God's goodness. You coming my way to help me is already a testimony. A day I can never forget. Thank you. All thanks to God. Good morning, Brother Desmond. Good morning, Sister Grace. Oh, you are going out this early? Why don't you eat something? It seems you forgot. What is that? I am going to meet Pastor Johnson in the church because we started the program today. Oh sorry, I almost forgot. Is all right, Brother Desmond, God has already answered all your prayers. Amen, thank you. Brother Desmond prayed alongside Pastor Johnson for deliverance and breakthrough, and the Lord answered all his prayer and delivered him from the hands of the wicked and caused his favor to speak for him. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for another breaking of the day. I thank you for your goodness. I am so grateful for all that you have been doing. Thank you for the life of Sister Grace you have used to help me, I am grateful. Thank you Lord in Jesus Christ might name I pray, Amen. My phone is ringing, who is this one that is calling me now, this early? Let me see, who is calling me? Oh is Mr. Henry. Good morning sir. Mr. Desmond, good morning. It is nice talking to you. The company wanted you to come back. We are sorry for everything that has happened. Your name was not supposed to be on that list. That was an error. Because you are one of our best worker, please if you don't mind, we'll want you to come back, and the company promised to pay you some money for the inconveniences. Is all right, sir? Those that mean you are coming back? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. That is nice of you. Can you resume tomorrow? Yes, I can. Is all right, you get a cab. When you get to the office, the cab will be paid for, afterwards, you will been giving your car back. Thank you sir. You are welcome, see you tomorrow. Alright sir, bye. Oh my goodness. Thank you Jesus, I can't believe this. Sister Grace need to hear this testimony. God is so powerful. Brother Desmond, this one that you are so happy, what is the good news all about? Sister Grace, I just received a call to come to the office. My company needs me back. 
Wow, this is indeed a good news. Congratulations Brother Desmond. This is beautiful. Oh thank you Jesus, for what you have done. Sister Grace, thank you, for allowing God to use you to help me, I am grateful. This place looks so beautiful. Yes dear, Brother Desmond has really done well for himself. He said he bought the house, he deposited some amount, he will be paying the mortgage of the house, every month. Wow, that is nice. God has just turned his story around for good. Thank you my love, for allowing God, to use you, in the life of everyone. We should give all thanks to God, for answering our prayers. Thank you Jesus. Sister Grace. The reasons I invited Pastor, and his beloved wife, our mother. This house was not new to you. When I got this house, you know everything. The amount I deposited, you know. But the reason, I bought this house, that you don't know. Please do not say no to me, I beg of you. Please, will you marry me? I promise to make you happy for the rest of your life. I and Pastor has been praying over this. Because I told him, about this and we have taken it to God in prayer. Please say yes. Yes. Oh my goodness, thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to say thank you. No thanks to you, for accepting me. Brother Desmond and Sister Grace got married, in a holy matrimony, and lived together ever happily. Thanks for watching this video, as you can see, when you pray to God, He always answer, whatsoever situation you are passing through, please pray or God will answer you, please subscribe like share and leave a comment. And we invite you to come and worship with Pastor Paul Ricca, the International Director, of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide, Pastor Paul Ricca is live every Sunday on YouTube by 5pm Nigeria time, you can also get many of his messages on YouTube, for the edification of your soul. God bless you.